day late i am actually doing this video and processing and posting it as soon as i do it because i did forget to do a video yesterday uh the only channel that i blog daily is on my metamorphosis rocks channel and that's because it's easier for me to do a video there just because it is about whatever daily thing is going on in my life this one is a little harder because I was supposed to post a video that I'm going to put on the crowdsourcing site today and I, I mean yesterday, and I haven't picked the crowdsourcing site because I, it's between three. I was going to do the normal thing and GoFundMe or whatever, but then I started thinking if I want to be taken seriously, I should use a crowdsourcing site that actually handles business types um, requests for crowdsourcing. And so I'm in the middle of deciding which one I'm going to do. So I wanted to go over the thought process that I have and how I came up with the dollar amount, etc. And even though I never finished the list, I'm going to show you more or less what I'm doing so you have an idea. And keep in mind that the reason why I'm sharing this with you is because if you decide to go and do something like this yourself, you, you can learn through my mistakes and learn from my successes and we can all teach each other and you might be able to tell me something i'm doing wrong that i can correct so the video for the actual crowdsourcing site as soon as i make that video i'm going to post it here also today is thursday so i'm also going to post the spanish version of this video later on today but the first thing i wanted to let you know was how i came up with the amount of money that i was going to need for this and i had three different lists and the mentality behind the list was the name of the list so i have them all here old school paper sorry but you know sometimes when you're brainstorming it's the best way i had bootstrap which is obviously minimum amount of money the realistic and the money is no object now the first one i did was bootstrap because i basically wrote down what i needed right now just to get started I have a computer, I have a desk, I have an office. Now, I'm not going to have an office in a closed room anymore because we're moving to a smaller apartment and the third room is going to disappear. We're only going to have two bedrooms. But that doesn't mean I'm not going to have an office. It just means I'm going to have to play with where I'm going to record and that sort of thing so that the dog doesn't interfere with the recording. And you know what? At the end, I might just end up letting him roam around the house so you'll see him in the background. I haven't decided that yet, but I do know I have a better computer for the videos coming up because I'm going to unbox the Mac again, and that one has a lot better visuals. Plus, I'm planning on getting some sort of editing software and learning how to edit, but I'm going to play with what I have there first and then decide if I want to uh, get something else. So in that sense, that's taking care of the computer, the desk, the area. Now, Facebook ads. I didn't want to spend money on any kind of ads, but after talking to several experts and going to several events where people are talking about what's trending now on social media and whatnot, the reality is that if I want to get more eyeballs on me, on my company, on my goal, on whatever I'm doing, I do need to spend a little money on Facebook ads. Now, I decided to just spend a little amount, $50, for the first three months and keep in mind this is bootstrapping it so basically all this money is coming out of the money that comes into the house which is why it's so small because I'm basically trying to take ten dollars here twenty dollars there I have a printer that I use to print everything business cards whatever I need and that sucker is missing the color cartridge right now because I just ran out of it like yesterday so that's a thirty dollar investment and then, of course, accounting software, what I'm planning on doing is getting the the quicks, the Quicken version for QuickBooks, I should say, for home. And that is just like my Microsoft Office. It's like 10 bucks a month or 15 bucks a month. I can't remember. And that goes automatically. So, And that can come automatically out of a paycheck. So if I have to use our own money, it doesn't affect me in terms of not hurting as much, I guess I should say it. So that was total $420. Now, <clears throat> excuse me. The second list I actually started 
was the money's no object. And the reason why I started money's no object before I started the realistic list is because the money's no object gives you a plethora of things that you want to do with your business. I want an iPad Pro. Why? Because I already have one and the way I could film on that one and where I could take it was a lot better. Plus, because it was the big one, it's like a 15 inch screen. If you're doing a presentation to somebody that's as blind as you are and my target audience is my age, so they might have visual um, problems with eyesight, just like me. That one had a perfect screen so that I could show a presentation or a video or anything like that, and people could see it and not go like this on a, on a phone or on a tablet. Um, I would, and by the way, I wrote what I wanted, and the prices that I wrote were used, not new. That would make it go even high, higher up. A GoPro. I had a GoPro before. I had to sell it again for the same reason that I sold the iPad. And I miss my GoPro. I would go anywhere and start filming and then I would I could go ahead and play with the film. Right now on the Apple computer, I have a ton of little clips that I want to play with so that I can put them on videos later on. I miss that. I miss that ability of getting something that is this big, literally, and just take it anywhere. And I had a, a stick for it and everything, so it wouldn't be jangling all over the place. So that was awesome. Facebook ads. Instead of spending $50 a month, spending maybe $200 a month or a little more, I had enough budget for about five months, three or three to five months. The software that I was going to need, I was going to need editing software. I wanted to get the uh, Photoshop. Um the accounting software, etc. I wanted an accountant, not because I needed a day-to-day, -day, but for somebody to check what I'm doing so that when I go to file taxes and all that other stuff, I'm taking care of legal for the same reason. A business consultant, because you want somebody that can cross your T's and dot your I's and make sure that you have everything that you need to, st to start a business right. Uh, the website, the add-ons to the website, the, I wanted to create an app, uh, what else, a promo package, I have somebody that's going to help me with the promo package, so it's not going to cost me that much, but I had the full thing here, uh, I had a dedicated phone line, instead of using my cell phone, use an, an, another number, that sort of thing, and by the time I got to almost the end of the, oops, almost the end of the page, I had over $10,000 in things I wanted. Now, once I know everything I want, and by the way, that's not everything. It's just to start with, and it's not all the way there. I went ahead and I started looking at things that I really need to start a business. Because some of these things I am going to need. I have to pay for a website because I have a website that shoots you to wherever you want to go in terms of YouTube page or whatever. I definitely need some sort of Facebook ad campaign because I've been doing what I've been doing right now with no Facebook, no social media paid advertising. I'm nowhere. So obviously I have to spend a little bit. Um, the accountant, that is something that I might not be able to get an accountant for the whole year, but at least in the first three months I can pay an accountant a certain amount of money so that they can make sure that I have the cookbook set up properly, that I have everything going where it needs to go and whatnot. And if the business picks up, I can go ahead and tell this person in three months, because every three months you have to file taxes and, and whatnot. The same with legal. I use legal Zoom right now, and that costs $239 a year. So I need to make sure that I have the money for that. Uh, an advisor or a consultant for the startup itself, so that I know exactly what I'm doing, where I have to go, what do I have to do, because the legal just takes care of the legal paperwork. They don't take care of telling you, well, maybe you should do this to get promotion or whatever. And a microphone, because I do have a phone, I do have a tablet, and I have a camera. My, my daughter has a camera that's a really good camera, and but that camera definitely needs a microphone. And I'm looking at the cheapest one here, right here. I included the charges for the website. And I also included a fee for a friend of mine who's going to be my book editor. 
she does this for a living. It's just that she's giving me a special price. Because I have two books that I already wrote. I just need to edit them so that I can release them. So that budget came to $2,958. I don't know if you can see it. Hold on. And that's where I came up with the $3,000 that, that I wanted to ask for in the crowdsourcing campaign. It all came out from this list. Now, that is one way of doing it. There's a million ways where, of you determining what you need to start with. I'm just giving you what I did. The other thing I wanted to tell you is that if you have any suggestions of things that I'm missing because I am so... I'm thinking that I'm going to do mo all the work, basically. So what I need is help with how to do it. But there are certain things that I can't do. I can't... I don't know how to certify documents for, for, for from an accountant's perspective. I don't have an income right now. So that's a, a, a no-brainer because it's zero. But you still have to file certain documents. And lucky for me, LegalZoom actually warns me when I'm supposed to file certain documents. But it's still one of those things that, you know, you don't want to be behind. Because then you get a penalty even though you're not making money. So that's where I'm at right now. Now I'm going to... I honestly don't know because I think I'm going to pick which one I'm going to do today. The choices that I have are between... Oh my God. Rocket Hub... Peer backers and Indiegogo. Those are the three choices that I have at this particular moment for um, which one I'm going to use. Again, I haven't decided. I'm probably going to let you know later on when I decide. I will definitely make a video and I'll post the video here so you guys see what I decided and where I'm posting. Right now, it is, I don't know. I honestly don't know. So, if you have any suggestions or you have any experience, just let me know. I would love to hear what you have to say. And other than that, thank you so much for listening to me. This is Roxana Faravadiva. You have a wonderful day.